She's back with the makeup tutorial. Welcome back to my channel. Shit, I'm back with another makeup tutorial. Can you guys believe this? It's been a hot ass minute since I have been on YouTube and doing a makeup tutorial. For a while there, I really thought I was like, am I just not into doing makeup tutorials anymore? Am I burnt out? I think between the pandemic and becoming a new mother and a business owner, all three of those things like really took a lot of my time and also changed the trajectory of like the way we've been consuming content. I feel like everybody's really been into TikTok and short form and for a while nobody was wearing makeup because we were all stuck inside. So it kind of felt like, why am I gonna upload makeup videos? Nobody's really wearing makeup. Then I just got used to not filming anymore. And I finally decided I wanted to come back and I'm so happy because I enjoyed this makeup tutorial so much. I had such a good time filming. It really made me feel like I had me time and I was me again. I've been using some new products and I love the way the skin looks. The skin, the under eye, this powder that I'm about to show you guys, like it just really changed the game for me. So I hope you guys enjoy, let's get into it. First, we're starting off with the Desi Skin Claro Que Si Serum. Skin prep is key. And I just love how glowy this makes my skin look. I'm trying to stay away from my brows because I just got them laminated and I love how they look. You know what's crazy is that after giving birth, my brows started going down on the tail. like. No matter what product I use, they are going down. So today I was like, Lily, let's laminate these bitches. Let's get them down, I mean up, because I'm just struggling. Like I hate by the end of the day, my hairs are like a little moisturizer. Agua fresca. I want the glowiest skin at all times. And I'm just gonna use this on my under eye as an eye cream. I wonder how it's gonna be like when I start to actually fill them in later because they're a little shiny, which means there's product there that she had placed and she was like, don't wash the product off. So I was like, all right. She said I could do my brows still, but it might look a little funky. All right, skin prep is done. Oh, it feels so good. So I'm actually trying to do a really winged out look today. So I'm gonna use scotch tape just to make my life easier. Yes. I'm just gonna be carving my brows out and adding a base to my lids. It feels so strange to do my brows not first and have my makeup on without my brows because I never do that. I'm always brows first kind of girl. I feel like I can't really see the full vision of my face when I don't have a brow on. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape just all over my lids as a base. It truly feels so strange to be doing a makeup tutorial again. Like I almost forgot how to do it. Setting up was so nostalgic. The studio has been collecting cobwebs. All right, I'm gonna set the lids now. Typically, now I love to go in with my Fenty bronzer. This one is in Private Island. And I'm going to start creating a little bit of a shape here. This is just a big old Morphe fluffy brush. I usually always do this step with a lot of eyeshadow looks that I do because I feel like it just kind of sets a more cohesive look with the bronzer once you apply it onto your face and it kind of just melts everything together. It also is an easy way to get your guide going of the shape that you want to do without making a commitment to any certain color. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like the natural shadows of your crease and I bring it into the brow. I just tap, 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 tap into the brow area here. And we're gonna just lightly blend it out. And oftentimes when I'm doing my makeup, I don't even do anything else except this step. Like I'll just add bronzer and a lash and it looks really good. I love the way it just gives that shape. Before, after, just with the bronzer. All right, now we're going in with the Rider Dye. Oof, she's a classic, Desi X Katie. Look how crusty she looks. She's been through it. Going into this reddish brown shade. So if you, any reddish brown shade that you have, dip into that. And I'm gonna be focusing that just here and starting to add it to the outer part of my crease. I really procrastinating on starting to film. Just like nothing ever runs on time when you have kids. I don't know how people do it. I try, I could barely be on time before and now it's like even worse. And Harley is about to wake up from her nap so I'm really trying to like hurry up and get this party going. I can't wait to really master time management with kids. Is that something that I can look forward to? Is that something that anybody here has mastered? If you're a mom, like is that attainable or are you just always having to pivot? I would like to know because I want to know if there's a time where I will have it down. I have my other fluffy brush nearby so I can lightly blur these edges out. 
I really want the eyeshadow to just be like whoosh. All right, so now I'm gonna take the dark brown shade right over here, and I'm just going to use that kind of like a wing, a wing moment. I like to look straight when I do this. So I could really get the proper shape when my eyes are open. You guys, Ocean kills me every single day. He says some shit that just shocks me all the time. I just wanna gush about him for a minute. I started my period and I'm just like, Dying. So Ocean kind of already knows about periods. I told him, I'm like, you know, once a month, mommy bleeds because, and he probably didn't get what I was saying, but I like to talk to him about things as if he understands everything I'm saying. And then whatever he picks up on, he does. And what he doesn't, he doesn't. And so today I was like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And he goes, I wanna come with you. And so he comes with me and he goes into the box of tampons and passes me one and goes, here, mommy. <laughs> it was the sweetest thing ever. And I just, I just love him so much. And then when we go downstairs, he tells his daddy, daddy, mommy's bleeding. And my mom took him to class today so that I could get stuff done. And I guess apparently he was now telling the whole class that mommy's bleeding. That was fun. I guess we've entered the stage where he's gonna tell everybody my business. Hmm, I'm kind of debating what I should do on the lid. At first I was thinking of just keeping it neutral. Should I do a a shimmer? It's been a moment since I've done a shimmer. I don't know. Let's have fun. Let's do a shimmer. I think I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Golden Hour palette. I don't know. I'm picking between these two. Warmer or like not so warm? I think I'm gonna go with the not so warm because I don't want it to blend in with that reddish tone we used in the crease. All right, let's go with this one. Maybe I can mix them too. I'm gonna mix them. If you just take the warmer one and just press it so that it's like kind of loose Flex, I think that gives it like that wet look. Now I'm going in with our palette again and going in to just a kiss. And I'm gonna take that in the inner corner a little bit. I really switched up the vibes from which I, for a while there, I thought I wouldn't come back to YouTube. Like I thought to myself, will I ever want to make at least makeup tutorials again? Because I think I was so burnt out from makeup tutorials. I mean, I've been doing it for like 10 years plus maybe more. And there's only so many smoky eyes, so many like, you know, looks that you can do. And I just got burnt out. And I think now coming back, I do realize that it's not even about the looks anymore because when I'm getting ready, I like to watch people and feel like we're hanging out and just, we're having a good time. And I've come to realize that YouTube makeup tutorials are far superior to TikTok makeup tutorials in my mind as like from my experience, because with YouTube, I feel like nothing is rushed. There can be education and there can also be time for communication and friendship. TikTok, there can be those things overall on someone's page, but not in one video. And when I'm getting ready doing my makeup, I just, I love popping on a YouTube video and watching someone's tutorial and kind of feel like we're in a sense getting ready together and hanging out. So yeah, there may be like a 500 smoky eyes, 500 winged liner tutorials, things like that, but it's it's not really about that, is it? Like, it's just a bonus for me at least. So I'm, I'm just glad to be back and I'm glad to be filming again and I'm glad to be taking off this tape. The tape part is kind of scary because when you take it off, you're like, is it gonna be in the right placement or not? I always put it a little lower just in case. <sighs> Satisfaction. Honestly, nailed it. It looks so good. I love the tape. It just makes everything so much easier. I have a little glitter down here. Let me clean it off. I am just gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line now. I'm gonna connect this area. Brown. I was thinking about lots of heavy black, but I don't think so. I wish I was actually going somewhere tonight because I'm here getting ready. I might as well. But I don't have a sitter. All right, I'm gonna do a brown in the waterline. I'm gonna use this one from Charlotte Tilbury. I, all right, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario foundation. This is in the shade 13 Warm. I've actually already wore this foundation once and I really like the way it looked. I actually applied it with my fingers last time. Should I do that again? Yeah. I like applying foundations with my fingers because to be honest, I don't really wear foundation very often anymore. Just when I do full glam, I will. But I do like a more natural finish. So I want it to look like skin, so I like to apply it with my hands. I feel like it warms up the product and makes it look a little bit thinner, more natural. At first I was nervous when I saw the foundation because I saw so much glitter. It actually just gives a really pretty glow. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger. I really can't find my shade Biscuit, but I typically like to use that as well. I don't know, it's MIA right now. Put that right here. I'm just gonna kind of tap it to blend it into the other areas. 
I'm gonna blend out the edges and leave the part where I need more coverage alone. I typically don't use this much concealer day to day, but since we're doing full glam, I'm going full out. Also, because I really smoked out the lower lash line, I'm not too worried about a lot of creasing because I brought it pretty low. And that's where I tend to crease the most, laying it down and bringing it to where I want the product. Sides of the nose. For blush, I'm using the Rare Beauty Blush in Hope. This really is that blush, you know? And I'm actually gonna be taking one of these triangle sponges, these are from Amazon. I have them linked in my Amazon storefront, but it just blends everything so nice. I love these sponges. We're gonna go in with layer two. As layer two is drying, let's blend out this layer over here. I feel like I need to go somewhere after this. What a tragedy that I'm just gonna probably take it off. Also, is it just me? But like when I'm taking care of the kids and like I have my baby, like I just don't like to have a full beat because I like to be all up in her face. All I want to do when I'm home is just have skincare drenched on my skin. Oh, look at how beautiful the blush, the concealer, and the foundation look. Everything is like really radiant. The coverage is light to medium because like I had a little dot here. I feel like you can still see it, but I did put just like the lightest amount. I'm gonna add a little bronzer. This is the Uma Double Stick Sculpt and Strobe. And I'm gonna add a little contour. I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm lightly pulling it into the shadow so that everything just kind of like blends together. Oh, I love the way the skin looks. Now that I have that all down, you girls gotta set, okay? We gotta set these under eyes. I'm gonna use the Kylie Loose Powder in the pink, the soft pink. I think I'm also gonna mix it with a little kimchi, puff puff pass, no color actually. Well, I'm gonna mix those two because I don't want it to be too pink or too white. So yeah, oh God, that powder is so good. I was looking at my under eyes when I put this powder on and I thought, dude, this looks really nice. Not super dry and crusty and dusty. Mm, mm -hmm. I have no idea where I got this sponge from. Like, I don't know if it was from a makeup kit or what, but I love it for just kind of cutting the cheekbone. I don't keep this on because I don't want to look like too much, you know? And you also just want to take powder, dust it off, and lightly press over the whole face so that it stays. I'm also going to use this to do the nose. I love to use the Charlotte Tilbury powder number three as like a bronzing outer color to set everything. This one is where you could really like blend the eyeshadow. Tap it on the edges of the eyeshadow and into the hairline. Now we're gonna take Charlotte Tilbury number uno and we're gonna press that into the more light points of our face. Contour that nose, baby, baby. I'm also using Charlotte Tilbury number three again. After I dust everything off, I'll go over the nose contour with a little powder so it's not as harsh. Bring it up to the brow bone. This is the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism Blush Palette. And I'm gonna be going in with these two top shades here, just a little. Actually, I'm just gonna mix a bunch of them, to be honest. Set this blush, it's on my nose, a little on my forehead. I know this may seem like a lot of blush, but blush is the first thing to disappear from your makeup, so you really gotta like lay the land. Let's get a little highlight on the nose. I will always be a tip on the nose highlight girly. This is the Estee Lauder Heat Wave highlight, it's just one that I've always held on to and go back to. I'm adding more of that in my inner corner because I lost some of my glow when I added my concealer. I'm gonna put a little glow back into the forehead. All right, we gotta do these brows and I don't really know how I'm gonna do them because they are kind of with product and usually I need my brows to be extra matte and dried up to apply product in a way that I like. So let's not really focus too much on the brows if they're not it, but we're gonna have to do them anyways because right now I don't feel cute. I feel like a pomade is the only thing that's gonna work over this formula I have on my brows right now. So I'm gonna be using the Benefit Brow Pomade and I'm gonna try to just do hair like strokes and give somewhat of a brow here at the end. All right, let's do our lashes. I'm gonna go with the old school iconic just because why not, you know, let's, let's feel nostalgic here. They suit my eye really well, I think. Ugh, the drama they just add. Oh my gosh, yes, I'm loving it. I just love when I do my makeup and I like how it turns out because that is the best feeling ever. Let me add some mascara. Good old MAC mascara. This one will always be my like mascara. It's just it for me. There's certain things in my makeup collection that will always be. This is one of those things. Okay, lips and then I'm done. Oh my gosh, and you know what? I lost all my lip liners. Like, you know how lip liners just travel with you in your bag and then next thing you know, you're like, where the hell are they all? 
I've lost all of them. So my lip is always like a really go-to lip as well that you guys always ask me about and it's quite literally always the same. So my question is now, do I change it for the video? Like it gets boring when I use the same lip. I'm always using the NYX soft lip cream in Abu Dhabi or London. Those two are like it for me as far as nude lips. Abu Dhabi is so good because it has a little bit more color. So if you're looking for like a more nude with like a flesh tone color, I love that. And then London is a little bit more nude nude. That's the difference between those two. I just, I just love them so much. I wear them every single damn day. I literally have a stash just in case. Next, if you ever discontinue, I will be devastated. Do not ever discontinue them, please, thank you. All right, uh, lip liner, let's see, what should we do? What should we do then? Okay, I'm gonna try a new combo today. All right, let's hit up Cashmere by Melt Cosmetics. Okay, this lip liner, I'm so happy I used it because this is like a perfect nude lip liner. Like, I am gonna keep this one. Please do not lose it, Desi. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Shayla's lip pencil with Dose of Colors, because I always like to add a little bit of a deeper liner in the outer part to reinforce the shape. Oh yeah, something about adding depth this way makes the lip look so much better. And you have to kind of blend it out, but I love the way that defined the cupid's bow. This is Shayla's lip liner with ColourPop Cosmetics. I thought it was Dose of Colors. It's called BFF. Then I'm gonna get a brush and blend. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte and Sugar Mama and just put like a few dots. This one's a little bit more nude, I think, the Bikini Babe. Let me try Bikini Babe in the center. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I love that. And then I'm just gonna blend one last time with the Melt Liner. I love this look. Okay, now the last step I always do with my makeup is set it and this just looks so good It makes my skin have this almost like film I would say like this sheen that dries down and makes your skin have that really beautiful skin like Obviously not skin like because look at this contour and blush and everything But it almost has this film when it dries down that has like a satin sheen so when you move around your skin looks and also just to get rid of any powdery makeup that's still sitting on the top of your skin. Then you just try it off. I don't have a fan here. All right, so this is it. This is the finished makeup look. I am in love with the way it looked. I had so much fun doing my makeup again, especially like a full beat. I'm talking like a full lash, contour, all of that. Like that is so fun for me because I've been doing these natural looks lately and I just really wanted to have a good time and I did and I love it. I love it. This kimchi powder, <sighs> My under eyes have been looking so dry lately because this wind has been crazy and this is the only thing that's made it look really, really good. And of course I mixed it with the Kylie pink powder just to give it that nice like pink undertone. I think they actually have this in a pink powder which I'm gonna have to check out online because I really love that formula. And yeah, I'm obsessed. I love the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, bye.